What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Scalers Only Show, where we talk real estate, business, lifestyle, and everything in between. And today, round two, baby, round two, we got <laughs> Nicole Sauce Boss, CEO of Sauce Boss. She is the CEO of a company that is uh, on the come up. And I wouldn't even say the come up. I would say coming to take over Ooh, because they are now I in, like I, I believe, almost 100 retail locations. They've got... Um, they're, uh, they've got their product in many, many wholesale locations and she is just absolutely crushing it. Uh, welcome to the show again. Thank you. A hundred locations. How many were you at last time you were on the show? I think probably like 40, honestly. You doubled. How the heck did you do that? Yeah. Boots on the ground. Year. <laughs> boots on the ground. Don't. What kind of boots? Like designer boots knowing you? Yeah. <laughs> they work better. <laughs> but so I want to I talk about that because when you came in, okay. I mean, you're styling, profile, and you're like, this is my okay. brand. This yes. is my brand. And I'm like, okay, I, I get that. But like, you, that's something you take very seriously too, is like yeah. the way you present yourself. You know, you're the CEO, you're the face. Mm -hmm. um, and you, I mean, you are sauce boss. I am sauce boss. Yeah. And more recently too, I did a joke on social media today because people have been addressing me as the sauce boss, um, like introducing <laughs> me as, hey, this is the not sauce the fire box. Queen anymore. No, not it's the not. It's not anymore. <laughs> it's not Nicole. It's like my only name now is the sauce boss. So, I'm embracing it. I suppose. I I, I like it. Better. I <laughs> but like when better. it comes to image, I just honestly I don't try to play a part. This is just who I am. Yeah. So that should be when you start a podcast. It should be called Sauced Up. Sauced Up. Yes. Consider it. All right. Let me get on GoDaddy real quick and buy that domain. <laughs> we'll sell it to you. <laughs> Actually, uh, interesting enough, we'll be starting a podcast here, Sam. Called Sauced Up. It has nothing to do with Sauce Bucks Gang. Bossed Up? Nope. Nope. Any insight? Oh, the cost up? <laughs> the, no, but the cost is, is up. <laughs> yeah. The cost Place is up. Place through the roof right now. Cogs. But what about you with these Cogs. trendy glasses you gifted me? You know, um, I just try, you know, you said that your brand and the, your personal appearance was very important to you and your brand. So I just wanted to make sure we could one up that a little bit. And, you did. You, you know, did. just make sure that you were presenting yourself in the right frames. Yeah, I only want to represent for killers only. <laughs> so what's happened in the last year? What's new? What's changing? What's happened in the last year? Besides your growth, I mean, that's been crazy. How have you feel that? I feel very grateful. I feel very blessed. I feel very inspired too, because I don't, I mean, I'm sure you guys can relate, you know, you go through a uh, multiple growth journeys in business and in life. And it's, you know, you hit milestones that you dreamed about it, but then you kind of forget it. And then you look back and you're like, oh my God, like that was not almost like unattainable in my mind for such a long time. And now that I'm there, it just kind of like proves there's no limits. And so that's how I feel right now. I feel like very, very grateful, very blessed, but I, I literally feel fucking unstoppable. No limit. Like Master P, no limit or like? No limit. Like 2024, no limit. No, like, like forever, no indefinitely. I have no limits. I like it. Speaking of scale. Um, <laughs> no, I, I think this is a perfect segue, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. you know, um, we, we actually just had our scalers on a mastermind yesterday. I saw that. It looked really cool. It was, it was a lot of fun, a lot of breakthroughs. And, you know, one of the things we talked about is, is scale, obviously. Sometimes you got to lean out yep. to be more profitable, right? And so mm -hmm. some people some people think that, you know, bigger team, bigger company, right. bigger this is always be better. Bigger is not always better, right? Sometimes leaner is better. Um, but <laughs> I, I guess, you know, what, what are some challenges or things that I guess, especially with the economy, the way that it is like some things maybe you've done different or things you saw different or things that maybe just done different in the last year, um, with everything that's been going on. Yeah. I think that's a very interesting point. Cause I think that I have gone through that in the last year of kind of like slimming things down and building a team in a very different way. Um, than I originally thought. So instead of like you're saying, like bigger teams, employees, you know, all these things, I've actually kind overhead. of what overhead, overhead. You know, yeah, well, yes, overhead, Cops, labor costs, all, all that stuff. Um, I kind of went back to the drawing board and said, you know, and, and and again, and I don't mean like anything by this, but a lot of people that you bring in entry level or or a little bit above kind of just burn cash and don't really move the ball forward. And so I started reevaluating how can I avoid that because I'm paying really to not move the ball forward. 
Um, so then I started like outsourcing to other entrepreneurs and building a team internally of other entrepreneurs that had, um, you know, same initiatives of me to grow their business by also helping me grow mine and vice versa. And I really find, feel like I found the sweet spot in that and continuing to develop that external team of entrepreneurs where we all kind of have the same DNA, the same goals in mind. And it's, it's been a lot more profitable. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, so I feel like there's this whole renaissance of everyone wants to be an entrepreneur. Everyone wants to be own a business. Everyone wants to, you know, put CEO in their Instagram bio and all that stuff. And it's like, what does that mean? Right. Do you, yeah. do you have a company? Do you have employees? Do you have, you yeah. know, real revenue, you know? So, I mean, anyone can write something, but in order, you know, to actually do it is another thing. Yeah. But what I will say to that point is, you know, because a lot of people don't want to be, you know, quasi employee, right. it's like everyone's the, is trying to be small business owners. So if you can figure that part yeah. out where you guys can collab and then mm -hmm. it's not like you guys are kind of growing together instead of, right. you know, someone feeling like you're holding them back and yes. then they're like watching you elevate and they're yeah. getting paid to save them out. Like yeah. it's a different dynamic for sure. Well, and I think I've found really good people on like a commission based structure. And that says a lot to me because I know me as an entrepreneur, like in, you know, my last lives of entrepreneurship, it takes a lot for someone to like step up commission wise. They really believe in themselves. And, you know, there's no cap on that. And I'm all about that. No cap. No cap. Cap. No. So, oh. <laughs> that was so neat. <laughs> But I think too, like, <laughs> like sourcing a certain caliber of entrepreneurs, like not, again, not entry level, not someone, you know, creating their first LLC, which I had, there's nothing wrong with that. It's all about like where you're at in growth and, you know, seeing eye to eye on the initiatives where everybody wins. Where are you finding your team nowadays? Like where have you found... Yeah, so one of my really good team members I found out of Miami, actually, um, just through networking, honestly. And I, I'm a believer in relationships all the time and just when the time's right. So um, he also brought a lot of relationships to the table and just over time developed those personal relationships. And um, yeah, really just through connection, constant connection and then timing, you know, for are you purposely or purposefully networking is that like part of like your thing or 100 percent, yeah i think like networking you know that saying your network directly affects your net worth i believe that not 100 percent, a million percent and i've learned in my own life it just takes sitting next to the right person one time to open blow open all these doors that you never had access to i think sometimes it's just like you see people that you're like wow if that person's doing it i can do it type thing and you're oh, like yeah. like okay it's like a, it's like a, a like a shot of confidence or something because like yeah. you're like this dude can do it like i, well, I think people like i'd be around us shoot if we can do it I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of yeah. what i was doing <laughs> We like hanging around Bobby and Terry. Why? Like it makes us feel better. We don't know it. No, you guys know what you're doing. Do, what happened with the glasses? I just I was getting a reflection from the light. That's why they're too fancy. No, but oh. he, he, they're too high end for me. Listen, okay. I think it might have been the red coloring I chose, though. It's rose colored, not red. Rose okay, well, you asked me red, <laughs> orange, or blue, so you know you you lied. Rose colored glasses. <laughs> Got to take them off once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's that's actually part of the problem with being an entrepreneur and why, like, yeah. sometimes you got to have that person that doesn't see things through those teller glasses. Yeah, so that's that, a good who, point. Who is that person to you? Because um, you strike me <laughs> as so, and I, I know this about you, oh. so you strike me, but you, um, you see things through the best light, right? Like, at, like you're just going to go, 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 go. Mm -hmm. And with like no governor, like, is there someone in your life or like an integrator, like that book traction, right? Like mm -hmm. you have a visionary, the integrator, you're definitely a visionary. Do you have someone that's like an integrator or someone that kind of like yeah. pulls you in? Yeah. I would say I have probably three go-to people that are all extremely successful in different industries that I always kind of throw things at the wall with, get their feedback. And, um, of course, a business coach that I talk to be like 
two times a month, whatever, bring like solid ideas to the table. She blows holes in those a lot of times. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'd say, yeah, three people I go to, all very different industries, all very different um, perspectives. And then I kind of, I feel like I collectively take that and align that with what I'm trying to accomplish. Because the other thing I've, I've noticed too with getting advice, and you guys can tell me like your personal experience, is sometimes though, I don't need to explain my feelings. It's like an intuition and a feeling that it might not look like strategic on paper or the right move, but I really truly know it is. And so sometimes I got to charge on against everybody's advice saying that's stupid. And, um, but that's a risk I'm willing to take because I don't, when I feel that way, that specific feeling, it's never led me wrong. You got to stick to your feelings. I think yeah. of all the advice, and everything you get, mm-hmm. everyone's advice is still their advice and you just have your own. So you take in all information. But think of how many people in. don't though. I'm saying that you take everything in, yeah. but all information is what leads you to your gut feeling. You hear one yeah. thing from somebody, something else through your life experiences, mm-hmm. go with yeah. your gut. Isn't that what they say? Mm-hmm. Same I mean, it does all degree, you have to, right? Like, I think um, so. I know. You got to know you're like a football player. Are you going to run it? Are you going to pass it? When the time comes down, hey, I got the gut. I'm you got to make the call, it. yeah. So sometimes you'll football. get tackled and yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I'm yeah, kind of sports stuff. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a quarterback, dude, right? Well done. Well, that's a nickelback. Oh, that's a big right? Yeah, yeah, whatever, like, quarter dime nickelback. <laughs> but no, I mean, it comes down to gut feeling and you learn yeah. everything and that leads you to your gut and that's what it's about. And all your educators yeah. should tell you whatever we teach you and stuff, you still take all information and go with your gut because everybody's different. Yeah. And I think that, I mean, sometimes you will make the wrong call and you just got to like man up and. Or woman up. Or woman up. Yes. And just be like, I made the call and it is what it is. And we move forward. So I'll, uh, I'll randomly go out to eat somewhere or whatever. And uh, I feel like a lot of places that I frequent just happen to have sauce box mm-hmm. and yeah. then i'll shoot you a text and i'm like hey do. You do. stop so taking this shit out. <laughs> you just want to keep me out of that house yeah, yeah. <laughs> but on like two more new products and we have one of them out but you have two yes. more products since last year too right yes so in the last year you're right i developed three new products three. one being this toro verde green jalapeno hot sauce which is doing phenomenal that's going to be my egg go-to Go to. it's a solid eggs. it's just like a nice mild solid and then we have our lemon fuego which is our lemon pepper with red jalapeno which has been amazing and then we do have another spice called volcanic kiss which has been just like crazy seller it's a roasted garlic crushed habanero and red sea salt so kind of like a red pepper vibe but one-stop shop how do you uh develop them or how do you know what to pick next you and pick something else you know what's crazy is i just <laughs> i just really have these ideas and i just i do a test badge and then i send it out and make sure they get it right and go from there so you just it's almost like an artist like you you think of something you're oh, like yeah, how sure. the hell do i create this and you just get to work on it yeah for sure yeah go in depth on that whole process yeah, I mean, I will say, like, for the volcanic kiss, like, I'm someone that... sounds disgusting to me, by the way. Like, volcanic, volcanic and kiss? kiss? I'm like, it just sounds That's like... He can't, like I don't buy, I, he can't. I don't, I don't, I don't like hot stuff. You know that about me. No, like, but do you use crushed red pepper? I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cook my normal food. He's like, but, like, <laughs> yeah. Chay, what, what? It's about as, as much as I get. Like, if it's Tabasco, uh, yeah. I'm like, damn it, but I'll do it. But it's, it's just, it's a lot. Terry, Terry. I'm getting there. I'm graduating. He thinks black pepper is hot. Okay, you're you're a black. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Anyway, for those of us that like <laughs> flavor and heat, <laughs> no, the volcanic kiss was. I always used crushed red pepper. Do you use crushed red pepper? Yeah, oh, never. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's like French red hot. I exactly. That shit on everything. It's just like salt. And then I was like, oh, I just need a little bit of salt. And then I love garlic, so I'm like, why wouldn't I make something a little bit hotter? And crushed red pepper, but with garlic and salt and just balance it all. And it's like one stop shop. So that's what I did. And it's my favorite thing. Like I, I literally go through like a bottle a week of it. Like I put it on everything. Or that's everything. that one? Mm-hmm. No, that's, it's not here. Oh, that's a volcanic here. It's not here. <laughs> it's hard to what? come by. Yeah. <laughs> but so here. from there, I will send it out and... I'm doing small batch right now because I really, we, we've never been in the spice game. So I kind of wanted to test like, how are, how are oh, these going to yeah. be received? Well, I have a question for you then next for the product stuff. Like yes. this past year, the economy and everything's been rough. Yeah. Production, like imports, exports, 
like how's that affecting trying to make it? Are you actually making your own now? Or are you still having a co-packed or is it's that like affecting your stuff too? Because terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, before we could just have anyone make it, but yeah. nowadays, I mean, it's just tough and cost and everything and inflation. I mean, yeah, even cost of goods and the raw inflation. stuff like make it. Inflation. Inflation. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for the hot sauces, it's been really bad. So like, like, what is what, what are some of the difficulties you had this? Oh yeah, for transparency, I got in a, like a huge tiff with my uh, hot sauce manufacturer over pricing because you know we source our peppers from South America, so it's not just cut and dry, but it really does you know dictate the flavor profile that I want. So <laughs> that went up forty percent. I can only crap. Damn. I mean, that's more than our taxes. No, no, no. Yeah, it's, it's, people are crying about rent going up 40%. Yeah. No, it's like one of my sauces went up 40%. So, you know, I had this moment where I'm like, this puts me out of business. Like, it no longer makes sense. Yeah. You know, I, I love hot sauce, but I don't want to pay 50 bucks a bottle. Exactly. <laughs> well, and it's just like also for like my wholesale accounts, that doesn't exist anymore. And so, going back to when I started the company prior to COVID, I built my business on wholesale accounts because that's what I had to do. Yeah. So it just kind of really messed up the whole business plan yet again. So um, fortunately, I did come to an agreement, a two-year agreement with my um, manufacturer for a fixed cost, um, but wasn't easy and it's still not ideal. <laughs> are you still in like search of a new thing or is that something you're going through or um, are your pricing still the same or did you end up increasing the bottle size like you're not discontinuing products no my just... pricing is still the same because i learned very early on in starting the company during covid i needed a cushion because i anticipated inflation and cost of goods going up was it because we gave away six million or six trillion dollars for free I think there's a million reasons of why i was trying to press on something there too, press on there I mean, your, your sauce and everything is really good and the flavor is mm -hmm. good. But the biggest thing I think you conquer well is the marketing aspect of it. And you know how to market and, yeah. do, and do certain things different and make it yeah. edgy. And I mean, what's I would, the whole thing behind that? And how do you see marketing helping brands? Oh, that's yeah. really key. I always tell people we're a marketing company that happens to have hot sauce and spices. For me, um, you know, this started as a passion project. And it's not about hot sauce at all. It's literally about bringing a dream you have to life and inspiring others to do the same. Um, and it just happened to start with hot sauce, but I I have plans to expand to a whole entire lifestyle brand, which I will be, you know, making moves on here and then in the very near future with that. Um, so. Define lifestyle brand. Yeah, lifestyle brand. Like, yeah, what, what is it? Like the condom? Yes, maybe. I mean, you know, hot sauce a lips on a condom. Horrible. We need to display oh. out for this one. MC7. No. <laughs> <Can I? laughs> You're out on that one. No, I think, you know, merch, of course, like clothing, <laughs> cookware. I would love to make my own. What? <laughs> what? I'm just thinking of hot sauce condoms. Like, <laughs> wait, it's just terrible. The hot sauce cigars. I know. Wait, don't tell everyone. Yeah. That's not going to be our not so limited. GoDaddy.com. I know. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm going to let you in on it, though, because that was good. You know, uh, candles, like. You know, just really bringing the whole experience because it is an experience. So it's not just about being spicy, like in the kitchen. It's just, it's, it's, you actually have a message behind it. Yeah. What's the message? Pour more confidence into the world. So um, what's really cool actually is originally when I had my four sauces, I put every single sauce has a chapter in my life of bringing the company to, to reality. So our labels are changing slightly. So on the back, I'm bringing back my story. So it's each chapter. And then, you know, it's um, Renata, Toro, Coffin, and then La Hefa. So like when you get to La Hefa, it's, like, it's that place of enlightenment, of really owning your confidence and knowing you went through all these chapters and, and you can do it. But so the newest one's mild. Sorry, saying your life is getting milder now. Ooh. No, no. That's what you said. Or is it spicy? No, I, I said Granada, Toro, Coffin. But the newest one to the fleet is mild. Yeah, the newest one is mild, and it replaced another mild. Oh, so your yeah. mildness is getting less mild. Well, you know, I just, <laughs> this one sells better. Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. So we had the mango scotch bonnet. It was very seasonal, I and people that. kept asking me, green jalapeno, green jalapeno, and yeah. it proves... Listen to the people. Yeah. 
So I'm a huge wing connoisseur. I like to consider I myself. I know you're telling me that. And uh, is that like something we're expanding into? Because that would be. What do you awesome. mean, like me making? Like- uh, no, like for instance, um, you have a collab with some wing faces. Yeah. Too. I mean, yeah, people use the sauce all the time. But like, is there like any major chains or mm-hmm. joints that are going? To you know, like Jack Daniels has their sauces at yeah. PW threes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And we see the sauce Fridays. Fridays. What was, yeah. the one, what was the one at Applebee's? I've been wanting to go there forever, and you keep saying no. But then Applebee's? I was bragging about. I don't always go to Applebee's. Got anyone? But you never want to go. and ask you. Talk about marketing, though. Mm. Applebee's is really trying they've been to put, forever too. I, I know, but, but they're really trying they're to like, what it is. They're like, yeah, Creed on the jukebox, you know, Applebee's <laughs> dollar marms. The like, it's like dollar it's, market. They're owning their like they don't have dollar marms anymore though. It's like dollar fifty or something. Bro, they're, they're they're three dollars. Triple. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's just three hundred percent inflation right there. But yeah, no, I just I thought that, that like I'm always searching for like the best yeah. wings and like I'll go mm-hmm. like can't eat wings every day, but like right. it's like a treat. Have you them. ever been to Nasty's? No. I've heard about that place though. Pizza and wings, right? No, I'm telling you. It's in the weirdest location, like sandwiched between honestly Main no, Street, right? Or no? No, it's like in Hilliard okay. and whatever. But I love the owner. It's I, I don't even know what that little entity of a thing is. Honest to God, best wings. Why they call it nasties? Uh can't remember, but <laughs> it's not nasty. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> No, but if you're looking for like a new wing spot, I will plug them because I I actually better than roosters. I don't like wings at all, and the owner made me try. He's got like this famous recipe of wings, and they picked up the sauce, and I tried it, and I was blown away. I'm like, wow, okay. blown away because you don't like it, or blown away, blown away because it was that good. I think you're lying because like you, like for instance, we have a ro- we have roosters right here, right? Yeah, which I love roosters. I don't eat Match. wings, but like I love roosters brand. It is. Cool casual yeah, joint. Cool casual joint. <laughs> and that naturally I'll I'll, I'll go less spray here. Mm-hmm. And um but I'll like I'll try different sauces together. Yeah. And like I've found like a couple combinations that like really work. Like for instance, like you do like barbecue medium, mm-hmm. garlic, and their barbecue sauce, their honey barbecue sauce. Okay. Freaking fire. Doing like a tricep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite brand minus your own? Ooh, like in my own like What do you look up to? Like what kind of brand or what? You know, um, I really look up to skinny girl brands. Um, are you guys familiar? Like the, <laughs> what, the, the, the margarita. Bethany Frankel. Frankel. Bethany Frankel, yeah. yeah. Like the original on that mm-hmm. stuff. You know? mm-hmm. And so I, 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 that's always just kind of been a pillar of my, I don't know. I think, I think they really did it right. I think they did the marketing right. I think they positioned themselves in the market very, very effectively and i think they led the company even until her selling the majority uh, yeah, she made a lot on that right she made a lot of money Are you trying to do that How much was it with yours i think she made like 180 million dollars well, that's it yeah and she still owns almost half the company so. on, on some stick figures yeah. is that mine or gross just kidding <laughs> you have to ask her. i'd still say it's a lot <laughs> I mean, what's your plan? Do you want to exit at some point or are you trying to keep this forever and turn it like what's it's your baby? So I know a lot of people are yeah. attached to their first product and do whatever mm-hmm. else, but keep that or no. what are your plans? I don't have a problem parting with it at all. And I've already had offers, but I think the next chapter that I actually have it, you guys are like, I haven't even really talked about this. Um, <laughs> you heard it here first. Yeah, you heard it here first. Like, like, like scalers it. only. <laughs> No, but I've never been in the manufacturing um, segment. So I actually have a really strong connection with um, a manufacturing company that's really looking to scale up. And I was doing some consulting work with them and seeing a lot of, you know, basically they were a retail brand that could do co-packing manufacturing. And I said, wow, you're missing so much money. You got reverse this uh, you're a manufacturer co-packer maybe you do a little bit of retail on the side and so the more i worked with them and the more we developed a re- relationship um you know they're they're looking for expansion processes <laughs> and procedures <laughs> and systems <Ooh. laughs> we'll get to that on but Instagram. long story <laughs> short we kind of came to this conclusion we've been working together for a couple of years now that i would be the person to acquire their company oh wow So, you know, I'm navigating that and it's early stages, of course, but really helping them through 
building relationships, bringing them deals where, you know, obviously I make money as well, but, but more so building the relationships, understanding the process, cause I'm not in manufacturing and being able to, you know, in a couple of years, fully take that on. So you're vertically integrating solely. Yeah. Are you more, um, I mean, I, I know you're, you're, you're a marketer, right? But do you, do you feel like you're good still at like process of systems where you're like, dude, I'm just like a hundred percent visionary and I just have to have people that are great at this or. No, I think I actually really excel in processes and procedures. So from my experience, I see dollars and cents all the time. Like I was just saying this the other week, I walk in a grocery store and what's really great about me is I've worked on, you know, with senior senior leadership where we're planning and we're looking through all these numbers that I'm sure you guys talk about daily. And then I'm also have worked, you know, boots on the ground with the people that are actually doing the work. And so I think what's very valuable of me is I'm a marriage between both those worlds. So I'm able to see at the high le- high level and I'm also able to see at the quality and like customer level and really understand that point of where where does where does the quality of the product or the customer suffer where we're not seeing at the high level and kind of like marriage those two worlds. But ultimately I think I you know I am a visionary but I back that up with a lot of like critical practical work. So where where do you like 2024 where yeah. the very beginning stages of a year friend where where do you see um like if you did a double in 12 months where how do you do your next double next year when you come back on and we ask you what you did what do you think happened like i think i landed every single store in all of chase campuses um yeah so chase gave her a little feature you yeah, see yeah. that chase yeah and, awesome. and they've been amazing to me they sold you out or bought you out right <laughs> that could be the one. product i don't got any chase. product chase loves everything they just i would sell it to that <laughs> heartbeat you're that chase yes. <laughs> oh, well, about your yeah. <laughs> no i absolutely love everybody that i worked with at, at, at chase like they've been i mean more than i can even imagine so but that's one of my big goals is um getting the product into the columbus campus and the new york campus um and the texas campus Mm -hmm. um that's that would be insane like completely insane and huge so um that's one of my goals another one of my goals is getting my new website launched here shortly and really driving um e-commerce on a whole different level than I've ever done. Because like I said, I've been more focused on wholesale and um, restaurant and retail presence where now I have to pivot again um, and getting my first celebrity endorsement. I'm going to do this year. Minus us. We already you haven't asked you. me yet. I already endorsed her. Man, I'm not the first then. What <laughs> I just felt, damn. <laughs> Um, you guys are always, yeah. yeah. We're doing I love like how a, she just kind of like went like that. <laughs> no, I love you guys. You're, you're always rubbing me. Yeah, we try. We're sluts. I, you, from last time, we actually still have. Yeah, yeah looking for it. It's over, over there. I saw one, it. Yeah, it's over there. Yes. Yeah, I put you in the corner. That way it can. Don't, overlook. nobody puts baby in hey, the corner. We did. Hey. <laughs> that way it overlooks the whole room. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just really Visionary taking that one through. Status. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of brands, like Mm -hmm. it's something obviously you light up about. Like when you talk about brands and like how they grow and why people like them. Mm -hmm. Like, is that something that's like just always been a passion of yours? You're like, Mm -hmm. man, I'd like, you know, when you look at like that glass, for instance, and maybe like, you know, our our logos. Yeah, you were, you went up to me and And got your own glass. Got our own glass. (laughs) Got our own ice ice cubes. cubes. Yeah. She's got her own hot sauce. I mean,. But is there something like with yeah. brands that just, you, is it like just to see how yes. people perceive it and you really like just nerd out on that? Like, cause to, no, I'm serious. Cause like to me, I'm not like, yeah. it just, it's something that's like, it's like whatever everyone else likes, you know, I'm yeah. not, I don't, mm-hmm. just not my thing personally. Oh yeah. Like I think even you just saying that, I think a lot of people don't understand how much like brands affect their buying decisions, even mm-hmm. from label positioning coloring um shelf positioning do you have to buy shelf spots when you go into grocery stores or are you getting oh. i don't know but oh wow you're on that status i don't right now but, yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
No, but I, I, I think that's in my DNA. And, and more so for me personally, it's the creation. Like how fucking cool somebody thought of an idea and it's literally existing in real life that to me is insane like i mean and even like i don't want to like talk about chase forever but even going in he like, loves chase <laughs> i do too but even no, this, <laughs> yeah, well i do but <laughs> I even walk yeah, into, walking into like a campus or even i'll say like ever crombie and fitch when i was doing mm, a pop up there yeah it's like, at some point, this was just an idea on paper. That shit thrills me. Like, I never, like, to have this on a product shelf still, like, seeing it, like, like someone can purchase my hot sauce in a grocery store. What? Yeah. Like, it still is like, how did that happen? <laughs> I want to walk in the grocery store and see, what do you call those little cutout things of oh, people? Oh, oh, like yes, here. yes, yeah, yeah, I yeah. want that. I'm going to start seeing Nicole standing yes, there. I, I will definitely <laughs> do that. Absolutely. Cardboard cutouts. See, and that's what Bethany Frankel did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skinny yeah, Girl did that. And she, that was a huge thing for their brand. So I don't see, yeah. I mean, you are the face of your brand, but I don't see your face on the actual brand or on the labels or anything. Because it's business. Okay. Yeah. That's where I'm, that's where I'm going. <laughs> so is there a reason for that? Or yeah. is there, you're trying to create two different things because. Yeah. I don't like, I don't know. Like, I, I just, yeah. I wonder what the thought process is behind it. Yeah, to me, um, it is a very small margin of businesses that can be sold for a lot of money being attached to one person. Um, so I do like to show, obviously show face in the brand, but I want the message and the product to speak much louder on a daily basis than I ever could feel it because I just monetarily that makes the most sense like it's harder to get off the ground initially but if you can get it off yeah. the ground and then it, it flourishes it's definitely the well way I think that's what it, like personal connections like we talked about come into place like building great business relationships building building a great reputation for the product and the business or whatever you're trying to do really comes into place because at the end of the day if I had, you know, a team member selling my sauce, it, you know, whatever in this community, people would know it and they would buy it because they believe it from me, but I don't have to sell it to them. Mm -hmm. um, kind of that thought process. But as we expand, of course, I want to be the leader of the brand, but I want it, whoever acquires it or whatever that ends up looking like, can be successful without me. Building a brand, I mean, requires a lot of things, a lot of work, but what's the top three things you think in building a brand? Sticking to the purpose. Uh, a lot of people get lost in the money and not the purpose. Um, for me, again, the purpose is literally pouring confidence into the world. So sharing my story of the development and just being a brand that's bold and not afraid to say, and you know, do what we do. Um, then I would say yeah, quality. Obviously, I think there's a lot of brands right now that have sacrificed quality of Due to inflation, cost of goods. Inflation. Yeah, inflation, inflation. is crazy. Uh, so maintaining the quality. And then I think, you know, culture for sure. Like internal culture is is just like so key. So if I have to sum that up, um, yeah. messaging, brand messaging, whatever that brand message is, a quality of brand. Mm -hmm. I mean, some brands can make it on price, but it's kind of a slippery slope, right? Like once you do that, it's like, then you know, that type of thing. Kind of promise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. White Castles, right? Yeah. I've never had Chinese hot sauce. Oh, no, I have. Never mind. Chinese hot oil is the best. I take that back. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I do love a good quality. hot Quality. And then the third one being? Culture. Culture. Mm -hmm. I like it. So I got a question. I like, I personally would like to, you know, I kind of like to think of myself as a secret <laughs> battle rapper or like a slogan <laughs> machine. And uh, I would like to come up with some names for you. So I'm going to throw oh, out some shit. names to you. Okay. And I want you to rate them and tell me if they're good or for not For me good. or the hot sauce? For the hot sauce. Okay. okay. Which hot sauce? I'm just going to throw out names. Okay. I'll leave, you <laughs> see if you can. Okay. We can Don't do wrap it. it, please. Just give the names. Okay. <laughs> and red hot chili pepper. Well, I love the red hot chili peppers. So that's yeah. like a 10 out of 10 for me. Nice. Is that trademark though? Can you but yeah, I'll, I'll get sued pepper. and we'll be out yeah. of business. But personally, love it. Okay. Right. <laughs> How about sunny day? Ooh. No, I don't like that. You don't like spicy. it? Yeah, that's like a lot. Hot sauce? 
That's like a, a Key West, like. Weird. That's the, that's funny. Why Key West would be weird. <laughs> no, I love Key West, but like it's like a weird hot sauce where it's like not really <laughs> hot, but they put it in a hot sauce bottle. Muy caliente. Muy. Or muy caliente. Oh, muy. Miller. Muy. Muy. I think like like muy far wash. I was like. <laughs> like a, so I'm uh, thinking like, well, that, we'll go with a 10 out of 10. Anyone that. that speaks Spanish is like, the hell with this guy. <laughs> Fernando right now is like, oh, I, got it. I, can't, I, I, I can't do it. Mui, yes. 10 out of 10. Mui, but right, not a couple more for you. Okay. White you remember, lightning. Ooh, I like that. I like that. That could be cool. Did you ask ChatGPT for these before? You no, dude. Okay. These are all. <laughs> I lightning. That I, I envision like a white label, but like a clear hot sauce. Yes. Like Ooh. an Alabama white barbecue buffalo. Yeah, like, the, like a clear hot sauce. I don't know about that. Coke. Have some uh, pepper in it. Pepsi when they brought the clear Pepsi or Coke out. You remember that? That didn't fly. They're not sauce boss ganged. Oh, okay. <laughs> no? I don't know. I like it. White lady. What, what? We could work on it. Whatever the formula is. What about me and Harry decide? Sumers. <laughs> Sumers? That is the dumbest one. Yeah, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. What about Pro's Gym hot sauce? Uh, you know, we can, we can work on that one. We can work on you that. You know what? You ever want to license your product to anyone, you think? Would yeah. you? Yeah. Pro's Gym. Oh, done. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I, I, I was going to go with like so, like hottie with... Polka dotty. You could do like here to potty, but it's here. like... like what? It's, it's like potty? And like party, but like... No, hot sauce makes like you want to. All right. You don't all right I'm fetching you. Yeah. yeah, I think... We're just trying to get an insight into what you're going to call the next one. Pass on that. I, you know what? Honestly, I don't have any plans to really develop more hot sauce. Keep it the same. Yeah, we're going to go in a different direction. Not different, but expand in a different way. What's that mean? Like I said, merch, cookware, da, 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 lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> lifestyle. Yeah. Maybe glasses. Who knows? Glasses. Travel agency? Maybe. Why not? Spicy travels. Yeah. So how, like spicy hotlines? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, there's still a thing. I don't know. I haven't seen them at late night TV much anymore. Remember those? Call I eighty-eight. Like I could bring call back. to if local girls. Could, <laughs> I feel like I could do it. <laughs> I remember trying to call those as a what? You did? I did. I was a prank. And they know when you're young. They hang so up right. I'm trying. <laughs> my parents didn't think it was funny when they got the hundred dollar phone bill from yeah. the minute I Well, yeah. like, well, here's what I realized oh real quick. Is like so, like these. Uh, gentlemen's establishments <laughs> would have these like very unique names, and so like when you're in like sixth, seventh grade, like you, you like, start. What was what is the name? The candy store, <laughs> and like the I'm like, shop? yeah, my little hip sweet voice. I'm like, hey, have you guys got any chocolate there? Have you guys have any like like no. white chocolate? They're like, uh, do you mean white women? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what? You're it's like, so maybe I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Know. <laughs> but like, when, you know, you're in middle school. You're like, it's the funniest. It thing was the funniest ever. thing. But again, not funny when Bill comes <laughs> to the phone. Your parents get no, that. Bill. that that's why each we, minute was like ten bucks a Who minute or something. Blame for that bill? Are we? Did you just like? Oh, of course, no. Yeah. And yeah, when you're young, you think you get with like it wasn't me. But when there's no we one else in the house, it's like <laughs> we didn't do it to my parents. I think if there's two people, and the other person's like, I didn't fart. You're like, two of us. I always made sure to do that at one like my buddy Brandon's house. Dude. Wait, he probably got in trouble. So I, 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 it was Terry, Mom. I swear, it was I'm Terry. Sure. That's crazy. Actually, his his dad is now now passed, so I can like I can yeah. say that without oh getting <laughs> all those times. It's gonna like thunder and lightning when you walk out of here. White, white lightning. lightning. <laughs> yes, that was your uh, caller name. It is white lightning calling. <laughs> this is white lightning. Woo. Your voice is not that deep, if I name. I know. <laughs> Lightning calling! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So you're gonna, lightning So you're gone. you're gonna uh, you're gonna be a sponsor for the Pro's Gym, the Arnold Classic. Um, with, <laughs> can't back out of it now. <laughs> no, I, I mean I, I think it's a I, I think yeah, it, I think maybe. it's gonna be a phenomenal yeah. thing. I mean the amount of people that do come yeah. out to town for the Arnold or picky about uh, sponsors. You know, so we are we are the official gym of the Arnold Classic, you are, and you know that. for a lot of the people that I will say ninety. 9.9% of the people that come there mm-hmm. eat very bland food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And have very bland lives. Is it low calorie? Oh, yeah. No, zero calories. Well, so, uh, the sauce is any zero way cal- to, very low sodium. Any That's, way to excite their wives yeah. is like a great thing, right? Mm-hmm. Without the um, the guilt. Yeah, without the calories. Yeah. And I get excited about that too. So, 
I think it's going to be a uh, the official pro Legion sauce. Sauce is yeah. now sauce boss game. White like I'll take my affiliate. I'll take my affiliate commission. Stand we'll work front. something out. We'll work something yeah. out. So yeah. what what else you got going on? Um, Besides, uh, oh, oh you I, I forgot my uh, my last name. Sunday Fun Day. No, you love that. I no, <laughs> I no. That's not why. Why don't you like Sunday Fun Day? Did you have a good one lately? I did. I absolutely did. How fun was it? See. It was like three days. I mean, we uh, it, not fun for the one day I did have fun. Oh, well, it's not Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, fun day. It's just Sunday. Fun I day. know, no, but as you get older and you don't drink a lot, I didn't refer to drink. Thing. <laughs> it's a hot well, sauce. Listen, I drink too much, and it is what it is. I had a great time. What other uh, you but guys have so many different businesses that you do? Are you focusing mainly on this now full time, or are you still like you said you're consulting still and yeah doing some different things as well? Yeah, so I'm referral only based uh, business consulting and marketing consulting. Um, so I only take on like very clients at a time, people that I like, and I'm not looking to expand that at all. I really don't have time. I'm really going, you know, all in and more on sauce boss gang this year so again dealing with the the manufacturing side of things that's going to be a huge learning curve for me is that local here or is that it a, is local in the u.s or country like no it is actually okay. columbus ohio based oh wow yeah yeah and they actually do a large current portfolio of restaurants that you would know and um i've noticed a lot of hot sauces are actually made in ohio like if you go to yeah. a bottle place they're all made in mm-hmm. ohio someplace and is ohio like a hot sauce no. manufacturing <laughs> key or what no but you know what i would say about ohio is i think people from ohio whether you're cincinnati columbus cleveland it's just like a community state like if people read like born in ohio from ohio oh h <laughs> i know yeah it's just like it's it's just natural one of the funniest thing uh let's do it this lobbyist that we know he was down in florida and like they're getting ready to have some political people go up and speak and stuff and they're like <laughs> We can't get everyone's attention. I get everyone's attention. Literally, he's like, oh, I got this. Oh, oh wait. Uh, all of a sudden, yeah. half like, the people are like, I know. <laughs> I mean, that's not, anywhere you go in America, you yell, oh, wait, somebody will yell I.O. It's because true. we're yeah. proud to be here, but we don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why are we still here? What? No, it's true. I was so listening I, to me Buffett earlier, like... just trying to think about getting out of the area. You know, you know I love He died not too long ago. Right? I know. That was sad. That was I think sad. I, no, I DM'd you and I was like, yeah. Yeah. Did you hear the news? I'm like, yep, already uh, posted it. Because you know check that story. That was my song last time, Jimmy. Margaritaville. Mm-hmm. Margaritaville. I love Jimmy. Was Buffett. it Margaritaville or was it something different? No, it was Margaritaville. Was it? But yeah. we were talking. What's your favorite about, Buffett song? Margaritaville is definitely a classic. It's just like one of those songs. No matter how shitty you're feeling, yeah. you're like, yeah. Oh, I didn't. But it's, a, it's a very cliche Buffett song. Yeah, though, yeah. Right? I think uh, Pina Colada sent too, right? The Pina Colada no, song. No. Oh, wow. I, that I was say, uh, I mix up my name of the group, but it was uh, it's a. I have to wonder. think about that. I like that a lot of. The Barefoot Man. Oh, that's Jack Johnson. Oh, wow. no. I thought it was Jim Buffett's Barefoot Guy. <laughs> Doesn't he also play guitar barefooted? No, he does. Yes. I don't know. I don't know what my favorite favorite is. I have to think about that. Do you have like a favorite? You like one of the Fifty Cent or I Jimmy mean, Buffett? Me, my personally, Son of a Sailor, but it's it's like it's like a slower like Son of a Song. Oh, I'm okay. a sailor and it has a little bell thing. Ting, ting, ting. You know what? Let's get 50 Cent to, or 50, however oh. you say to endorse here. That's your celebrity endorsement. Wait. It, I'm coming for 50. I love 50 Cent. He's got me through so many crazy times. He's, Dude, he's hilarious. I never knew what a big, like, funny troll type him. thing. Like, anything happens, he puts stuff up and I don't never even know. <laughs> love his music. Love his personality. He's just, like, a he's badass. He's hilarious. And those and, shows that he so produces. And smart. Yeah. It's just, like, he's really fucking killing it but right now i got my eyes on sammy the bull for my first celebrity not pitbull no i want Mr. to 305 I, i'm not in the loop who's the samuel, samuel character the, the like who is the mobster bull? yeah is he a rapper like, no he's like a literal oh sammy the bull like the family no family Camino type thing okay family. he's alive oh yeah alive and is he in jail or is he out of jail no he's out of jail and i want him to my brand you can invite him to the show next year with her yeah. Um, I'm working we'll, on it. I'm working we'll on it. Hardcore. <laughs> we'll get oh, yeah. 50 Cent. We'll wear a bulletproof vest. Yeah, they can. It's 50 Cent and Sammy the Bull. That's my speed. I like 50 because he's a troll. But, like, he's, I mean, he's, he's real. He's funny. He is. But also, too, like, he knows that, like, people can't really cut because he's so straight laced. 
you know, people, it's kind of hard to find dirt on, on 50, right? No, I think he's just like, dude, I did the most. I got shot up. I shot up people. Like, what are you going to well, say? Well, he that part, but it's like, you know, you're not going to see him slipping today, right? But I mean, like. He doesn't even drink. But when no, someone no, lives do. that life, like, what could you possibly say then or now to get to them? You can't. Yeah. That's like Sammy the Bull, like. You know, he. I just watched the interview. He's like, "Yeah, I killed nineteen people. Like, whatever. Like, you know, it's about perspective. Damn. You know, why would you kill nineteen people? Oh, well, he was in the mob. It's. I mean, that's perspective. You know, you have yeah. to listen to his thing. Perspective is, were they good people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, if someone's not a good person. They should die. No, I didn't say that. I did not say that. I think all. that's what she said. I think that's it what she is not. You heard it here live. Live breaking news. Just kidding. No. She did not say that. I'm that. totally joking. I'm just that. saying perspective is a crazy thing. I agree. But I just, I don't, I'm not a. You're not a mobster person. She's yeah. Italian. She's so just the Italian. Yeah. Thing. I mean, I, I hang up like mob pictures. Who's your, arms, who's your like, dream? You know, I, hey, who's your dream like celebrity? Or if you could ever get endorsed by someone, who would yours be? Uh, I, I would have said Buffett. Uh, that would have that would that would have been awesome. Should have done the white lightning pros gym sauce. No problem. Oh, yeah, for sure. He would have done the sunny days sauce. Whatever that yeah, was sunny days. Like D A Z E. Yeah, but that, who would be your celebrity been. endorser? Like, who yeah. would be your person that you would want to? Your first person to endorse you, big celebrity name. Who would it be? Man, uh, I. It's so funny you guys are talking mobsters because there's a picture of me on Al Pacino's body up there. <laughs> That's true. But do you live that life? No. You know, I don't live that life. And that's, and that, that's why there's a poster of me on his butt. Because, you know, I wish, you know, that I would have had that life at some point. But No. I don't want that life. It's it's a long, a long history of, like, why. And if you don't, like, know him, know his story, know about how he was to his family and, like, all these things. And, and listen to him actually telling his story on him being the underboss and the Gambino family and all this stuff, you know, you'll think a little different. It's, it's interesting not, how these yeah. other brands are like that. Sandy the Bull. He didn't try to build a brand. His life is his brand. No, he is. Isn't that crazy? And, and like, it's, yeah. But but he's also very real and he knows like he's like, listen, like if. What's the smartest thing you ever heard him say? The smartest thing I ever heard him say. I took to you. Uh, I think like. um <laughs> Not about killing people either. (laughs) (laughs) No, but it was was more so along the lines of like, you got to look out for yourself because the people that you think are looking out for you really are. And I don't necessarily believe that all the time, but I think like, again, perspective in his setting and yeah, you know, whatever. But I think there's, he talks a lot about value of like family and loyalty and, you know, (laughs) <laughs> I, I respect different people for who they are and, yeah. and the good things and, you know, maybe things they don't wrong to. There's no one where I can, like, say, like, this is the model person I, like, would yeah. be. So, yeah, because everyone has their good stuff and everyone's got their bullshit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I respect people that can actually own their bullshit. Yeah. So you want everyone to endorse you? No, you'd have one person you agenda to endorse you. I, I mean, dude, I mean, it, it. Or fine, not who do you chase after to endorse for a product? Then? Like an actual celebrity? Yeah. What company? <laughs> Hot sauce. If it was hot sauce. Um, Not for a housing company. Who could be our celebrity? Yeah. I'll tell you what. Though. So we'll, we'll use Pro's Gym for instance. Okay, so, so a couple of people that we have mm-hmm. that have been tremendous to us mm-hmm. in our our, uh, our fitness brand, uh, Ronnie Coleman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ronnie, He's a legend. He, he's Jim. a legend. Um, he is an absolute yeah. amazing human being. Every time he comes uh, into the gym, I'd love this to dude brings him. in like eight chicken sandwiches so from Chick-fil-A. He's inspiring. I, I would love to meet him. He's, he's got a great I'll be there for like... At least yeah. eight, ten hours this year. Again. Yeah. And um, but he always brings me a chicken sandwich. That's awesome. I'm like, yeah. you're like, you're like my idol, you know, Jake. You moved a bathroom downstairs just for him. Yeah. Last year. Uh, Jay Cutler is also another person mm-hmm. that's been great um, to uh, to me. Uh, Indio Champ. Yeah. You know, um, people just see his videos and he's got millions upon millions of people that see him every day online. But a tremendous mm-hmm. human being mm-hmm. when you actually get to talk to him, um, you know, really cares about people wants to give back to the world, this community and stuff like just these, it's, it's, it's wild when you actually get to talk to these people who uh-huh. you might only see them in one light. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, like, yeah. you're like, wow, like there's a public world going out. Yeah. 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 Cause you got to play that card, right? Yeah. So people know you as in the mm-hmm. five second blip, they see you on social so media. So we have the show for so people can get to know people behind. Right. Yeah. But did you notice that I've been like thinking, noticing too, like the older school people, the older gentlemen, 
their brands and they have big brands are literally based on their life. They never tried to make a brand. It's everything yeah, they they've been through, they what they've done yeah. with an experience. But nowadays, people are trying to create brands around nothing. And they don't have like a lifestyle. Well, like a fake or something. Yeah. Oh, I think whatever it is, like it can be whatever funny. it is. But I'm not saying it's bad or good or anything. But I'm saying, do you notice the change? Like the younger generation you know, now, it, they're not actually going through certain life things and like, you know, but they're actually no. trying to create something and like say, oh, this is the that's the brand. Well, and I think that again, nuts? you have to put that in perspective too, because a different world. So like when I talk about Sammy the Bull, like his his whole thing is um get made join the family and my whole thing is always like join the gang so it's like a net and you know i'm half italian this that and other but if you're asked i think it just it it's brand dependent right that would really work for sauce boss gang for but like for my personal brand i idolize tony robbins like i every single first hour of my day i spend listening to tony robbins i he's, he's like, a tall guy right yes yes and like deep stretchy voice yeah it's yeah. awesome but so impactful so insightful and <clears throat> joe dispenza like you know so it's just it depends you know. he's the original guru oh he's so yeah. he's, he's the og guru he's amazing yeah. i mean there's never going to be another one like him period how old is tony robbins it's like 63 he's fairly he's young still no it's off he's the shirt 63 he's been around that long yeah i mean it's why yeah. he, he started like public speaking i think when yeah. he was like 20 or something like that wow he's got a really crazy story if you don't know like lived in his car and have a big like, i mean he's just he really is the real deal See, again what? the biggest names in his brands are people actually gone through it and it's like the real life story oh, but then yeah. you got cat williams coming out and saying oh, that yeah, uh that's crazy. steve already never lived in his car <laughs> blah 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 like there's a lot of crazy stuff Scott, the cat's saying, you know? I just feel like there's a lot of crazy stuff right now. Like, if we're talking about pop culture, celebrities. Yeah, what's your like, perception on nowadays? Like, all this stuff going on, what do you think about it all? Like, just the way people are and how... <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, I just had this conversation the other day, and I am just very old school. Whoops. You need more tequila. <laughs> no. no, I'm very old school. I'm very old school in my relationships, how I like to, like, Date, work, all of that. So, this is not my era. <laughs> Personal life. Are you dating anyone right now? I'm not. <laughs> hey, you single guys, hit up Slash Boss Gang. If you can come up to the par, wait, whatever you say. Your, your DMs are about to be flooded. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm a businesswoman. Her cell phone number is. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I don't need to do that. <laughs> no, um, not dating. Happily not dating. Do you see someone in the near future or are you more focused on your brand? Are you looking for anyone or are you just literally focused on the brand? <laughs> oh, you know? no. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So And you know what I heard something not too long ago too? The balance thing. Oh, okay. Forget balance. Like, wait, yeah, yeah. The balance people say balance your yeah. family and your business. I said that. No, yeah. forget that because yeah. balance means that one's taken away from the other. You right. should have something that helps you build and do both together <laughs> rather than trying to balance <laughs> yeah, because yeah. dude, I'm a huge I mean I'm right. not a proponent of balance. I'm a proponent of blend. Yeah, blend it together, right, and that's yeah. crazy. I, you probably, I probably saw it off something, but literally, I saw them like. I actually just days. made that up. But like, <laughs> oh, it's not somewhere in. No, it's better than like sunny though. days. How's us? It's a, it's a truth though. Like you yeah. know, if you're going hard, like going hard and doing all the family stuff. Okay, great. You got to make sure your business is yeah. breaking and make sure. Yeah. Your Which makes one is like taken away from other. You don't want things that take away from each other. You want both things to build each other, right? Totally. I'm also a proponent of the seasons. Like, there's gonna like we're yeah. in a season right now. Like with our our building you know i bought that the right. building and um down the street and it story is story behind all that too that was yeah. crazy yeah. <laughs> crazy story right say it's like oh, yeah, we bought the building. oh my god the story is funny get that thing you're like oh, oh my dude. how long you how long did you start the process it was two or three years before oh my god you didn't have like been talks of getting it it's, it's been <laughs> an eight-year process yeah and we're just now renovating That's so like insane. wild right um person but you you go through seasons where like you're like hey you know i'm gonna do the family vacation i'm gonna spend some time and it's like, oh, I'm going to go hard on my business. Yeah. Maybe like some people will go hard on their business in the wintertime. And that way in the summertime, they yeah. go and yeah. travel or whatever. Go. I just don't think balance is part of who I am. Um, it's hard for a lot of You're people. You're unbalanced. I am. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> what? Can you balance the one leg? Yeah, I could. Do okay, so you're balanced. That. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. No, I mean, I I just don't have any interest in dating a lot of people and doing that whole thing. I think, like, when you really find out, like, who you are and what you're about, I don't need to go on 100 dates, like, to know 
So your proponent of this cup, it'll come to you. You're not for me. Yeah. 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 And I think I'm looking for something, not I think, I know I'm looking for something very specific. Like, and I know it's coming. Like, so I'm going to, I'm going to get every single thing I want in life. And I don't have to like work for it or go out with like a hundred people. That's, that shit's easy. That is easy. We all know that. I think it, it's, it's the things that keep us motivated and going, right? Like, mm-hmm. When your personal needs are met, you're happy and, you know, and then there's like a, I don't know what that number is for most people or that yeah. off point, but like, you know, would you, you can go to the store and not look at the price tag. Right. When you can drive the car you want, you know, you have some time freedom and right. you kind of have all these things. It's like, what else kind of keeps you motivated, right? Oh, might be that dream yeah. house. It might be a dream vacation. It might be, you know, hey, just every day I've got four hours to do my yoga, yeah. do my hour of Tony, do this, right? And so, do my hour of Tony? Like, yeah, but I mean, those, things, those things are important, right? Yeah. And For me, so that's was, what keeps us motivated. Not about any of that. For me, and it, this is really hard to explain, and I try to explain this a lot, but there's there's literally something like inside me that like knows I'm meant to have like this huge purpose and alignment with empowering others and and bringing whatever I create to life that really makes an impact on the people that engage with it. And so the money and all that, I'm never really worried about that because it comes, but it's more about like leaving my legacy, leaving like a good imprint on whatever I create. So you're a legacy person then. Yeah. I just think like in a mark. Yeah. Just, just helping people. Like if, if I can say anything about my brand, bringing it to life, and it inspires one person to whatever, go to a website and register an LLC, that's further than a lot of people even go, you know? And I think, you know, it's just about self-belief and bringing things into reality. Confidence into the world. Yeah, confidence into the world, no matter what. What if everyone's just, like, overly confident, though? Well, I think I think there's a lot of different flows of confidence Ooh, confidence flows now not, okay i like it i like yeah. it yeah confidence that's new like flow max <laughs> flow max that's a muffler no, I, no is it wait it's a muffler oh i thought that no, was flow, flow, the the flow master is the yeah, yeah flow max that stuff you take to, to the digestive oh never mind oh no yeah. i thought it was like hot sauce <laughs> yeah it's like hot sauce exactly <laughs> um so 2024, mm-hmm. um, going to be a great year for you. You're going to do a double. I'm going to do a double. Leave you a triple. Do a triple. There we maybe, go. <laughs> maybe a triple. Any final thoughts? Final thoughts is thank you guys for being awesome, gifting me these glasses, using Sauce Boss Gang, supporting Sauce <laughs> Boss Gang, and just being awesome guys in the community that support other people in the community. I think that's like super important. Support other good people. Yeah, yeah, that's rare. So thank you. That's it's that's impactful. You are very welcome. Thank we you. believe in you. I can't wait to see what you got coming this year. It'll be yes. awesome. Next year, oh, it'll be a great show again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no lie. There we go. The queen, the fire queen. Nah. Fire hot the sauce. sauce boss. The sauce it's, boss. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to the Scalers Only Show, where we talk real estate, business, lifestyle, and everything in between. Until next time. Yes. Peace. Peace. Sauce. And sauce. Peace (laughs) sauce.